Well, welcome to the Bowling Point. I am Richie Ware, famous Mr. Steve Taylor. Famous? In my own mind. In your own mind, all right. <laughs> if you love our videos, we would love for you to like and subscribe. It helps out with all the algorithms out there on YouTube, and we're providing a lot of content for you, and it just, if you could help us out, we'd appreciate that. Steven, today we are gonna be talking a little bit about containers. Now, mm -hmm. We obviously do rental boilers and we stamp those out really just one after the other, the same type of a cookie unit. Cookie cutter type. Cookie cutter, but there's a lot of people that need some specialized containers. They do. And we had a customer come to us, like to talk a little bit about this container that we were able yep. to do. This was a Lockheed Martin job down in, in Florida. Um, Gary Yon with Yon's Boiler, Gary and Corey brought this project to us and, and they sent us a, uh, a drawing of a unit they had and we took a look at it and they wanted us to replicate what they had. Yeah. We took a look at it and it was not user friendly at all. Yeah. I mean, the way it was designed was gonna be really hard for, for people to operate, from to maintain, from to hook up and unhook, mm -hmm. transported around, everything about it was just wrong. It wasn't built for what they wanted to do. Okay. So I went through and redesigned the whole thing for them, sent it down to them, they, they agreed to it. And so then this is, this is the result. And, and part of what we did uh, was they had all the hoses up inside the, the, the container, which that works when you only have a couple and sure. you have some place to store them. Here we didn't have, and when you have this many hoses, it doesn't work at all. It ends up being a mess. So we built a special racking system where, you know, it's real easy for them to open those up and then ship them just like they are. Right. When they get to them, get them back up in there, they stay nice and clean. We've got the same thing on the other side for the electrical cord. We've got a 100-foot electrical cord. Did the same thing for it. And then, like, you know, when they move this stuff around, if you don't have plugs in those hoses, they get full of crap and, you know, they're going to be down there, so they're going to have rodents and everything else climbing up in there and, and, and building nest. Mm -hmm. Did the same thing on the connections here, put plugs in there and caps on them. We crisscrossed them where the, the return has a, has a female cap on it. The supply has a male, male plug, mm -hmm. so they can't switch them up. They've got to put them the way they're supposed to be. So we just did a lot of things to make it really error proof and easy for those guys to work on. Uh, some of the other things we did was put, you know, a shunt button on the outside. Right. They wanted that very, you know, very prominent for them. Uh, put lights overhead so they could hook everything up at night. Mm -hmm. Same thing on the other side inside the container we'll go in there and look at some of the changes we made in there as well uh fuel oil tank in the front uh double double wall ul fuel oil tank so just a lot of things we did to this thing to make it really easy for those guys to operate and maintain and hook up the equipment right kentucky word for junk and stuff in a thing is crap right crap it was there, you go, there right. you go there you go there you go all right well let's go inside all right let's do that well we've come inside the container now steven there's some uh, a little different than our normal rentals and how we set things up. We've got these pipes right kind of in the middle of the of the of the container yeah, here. So what do we got here? This is this is all a hot water unit, so this is completely different from what, what we normally do. Normally yep. it's everything is steam and then we'll convert to hot water, but this is strictly a hot water unit, so you've got supply and return piping. Mm. The the thing they had on, on the one that they sent me the drawing on that I'll completely change for them is they had run the, run the piping kind of like this, down the wall, across the floor, pump was on the floor, air compressor was on the floor, and then uh, because the pipes were running cross the, crossways, it was a, a safety hazard, they built a, a false floor in the trailer over top of it. So you had to walk up over top of it to get wherever you were going to go. And then to work on this stuff, to get to the valves, the pumps, everything, you had to take panels off the floor to get to it. Oh, wow. When I looked at that design, I'm like, dude, that's... <laughs> That's not what you need to have. So I yeah. completely redesigned the whole thing for them, give them this, this drawing and laid it out, had Brett draw it up for them and sent it to them and they were you know, tickled with the new design. And they just, they just didn't know any better. That's all they'd ever seen. Sure. It just, so they said, hey, this has worked for us, copy it and we'll go that way. And I give them a new design. They're like, oh yeah, that's, that's a whole lot better. It, it's, gonna be a, it's gonna make a really nice system for them to operate, to be able to get to, to open valves, close valves, you know, see the DP transmitters, the flow transmitters, the temperature transmitters, everything is accessible where they can get to it, unlike having it all in enclosures and it was covered up, it was a really mess. So it, it, it's like somebody just put it together and then as an afterthought, put the 
you know, panels over top of it, which made it awful for them to work on. So right. this is going to make a really, really good system for them. Now, is this, uh, this is actually going around different places? It's going to a military base in, in Florida, and, and they'll take it from building to building as they're doing maintenance, doing repair work. Then this will be the, the providing supplementary hot, supplementary hot water, okay. uh, heating, whatever they're doing down there for the building while they're doing maintenance and repairing equipment, replacing equipment, whatever they're doing to the different buildings down there. Right. Cool. Any other things that you want to point yeah, out? That, I mean, that's, that's, a, uh, that's about it. I mean, we've got a, we got a fuel oil tank in the front, an expansion tank in here, and, mm -hmm. and uh, got all the, all the bells and whistles on it. It's a, it's a really nice system and going to do a, a fantastic job for them. We're, we're proud of the way we put this thing together. It's yeah. going to be, really be a, a showboat for them. Well, good job. It looks uh, looks definitely looks good, and kudos to our guys that yep. uh, definitely put they, all this stuff they did together. A good job. So, well, we'll see you next time on the Boiling Point. Well, it's a great container and a great piece of equipment. Of course, the Victory Energy boiler and Pyre Flame burner, so super vendors that uh, we represent, and we're very proud to represent them, and they provide some outstanding equipment. Appreciate Stephen. Sharing some knowledge with us, you can see that we can actually do some different types of containers. It's not always that we build a container and it actually just stays in a spot. Um, this one is actually running around a base like he was talking about. Well, it is 2021 and I hope that you had a great New Year's and we have a good new year in 2021 as we have left 2020. And like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, please share those videos. Check out all of the videos that are on our YouTube channel, Steam Cultures, weekly boiler tips, case studies, and all the other things, over 500 videos out there. Make sure you're liking all those videos for us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.